Hi my friends, today we model this part, a uh, crank head, which has some interesting features, as you will see. The drawing I made for you is uh, this one, but it is based on the drawing of uh, Timoteo Carrera Soto. See how to download his drawings by watching my tutorial number 182 from the minute 0041, which means from the 41 seconds. For this very tutorial, which we have here, you have to choose the file Timoteo Carrera Soto number 6, pages 10 and 11, two separated pages which are uh, combined by me in this uh, picture. This uh, crank head is a component of the locomotive, steam locomotive mechanism. As you can see here, this is that part. It has 37 kilograms, my friends. This is the crank. Here is the piston chamber. The piston has a rod, this one, which is connected to the crank head. This connection is uh, made with this part, number four, which is placed inside the crank head. We'll discuss about its shape. As you had seen, we model this internal component, not uh, the outside ones, not this shaft, so that we turn back to the drawing. Okay, let's start. Standard millimeters IPT, the plane for the first sketch is this. What is the first sketch? The first sketch is the outside contour dimensions. The length is 265 plus 100. 125 diameter, one 1.5, then uh, a radius 85, don't forget it, and then this two dimensions, diameters, but be careful that we have not a radius here, but a distance from the center And the uh, Timoteo drawing, we see the same, you see, 22, uh, 220, 240, and the radius of 15. We don't forget the external diameter 260, which in our drawing is uh, radius 130. I prefer to place this dimension. We respect my drawing, not uh, Timoteo's uh, drawing, yes? Good, let's use these dimensions. Don't forget radius 85 of a great fillet. 
we draw a circle with a radius of 130 then some lines one two three I uh, want to know that this is will be the center line then this I keep press the right the left button and I create an arc then I also keep pressed here to draw another arc like this to the circle then I apply tangent between these two dimensions radius 15 and two di diameters here but first I make this line center line and I place it on the center point you see let me apply great dimensions 100 is here 100 and 265 265 I trim this arc this arc and this arc Diameters 240 from the center line to up. To up is this icon. This one. 240. And the same procedure with the same icon 220 no room for that uh, 22 yes 22 dimension which uh, override uh, the previous dimensions so that we continue with diameters here 125 125 115 115 40 and fully constant yes we don't place here 22 because it's, this is this sketch is fully constrained it will be also fully constrained if I add an 85 fillet between these two entities yes good finish sketch and apply revolve automatically okay now we have a first volume as you can see next another feature which is uh, this one diameter 60 100 distance of 10, distance of 270 
on the upside we'll mirror it down let's do this xy f7 and we draw some lines here horizontal up to here I go right to the center point with the center line escape and another line but let me project this geometry to have an end for the line up to down oh but I forgot to disable this so I have to apply twice the same kind of line diameters this is 100 with some problems but we do not afraid of problems dimension of this is 60 10 is the distance and the distance to the center is half of 270 okay 27 0 divided by 2 you will notice that we have a cut here yes we'll go back to eliminate that uh, protrusion good finish sketch you see fully constrained revolve what to revolve this small area and this small area this the axis is known okay now because of that protrusion I have to create a new sketch in the same plane XY F7 and I draw a rectangle like this we project geometry this and this to place a point a corner on this line another one corner on this line this line to contain this point and this line to contain uh, this point we don't apply any dimension but we have a good result I don't have here an axis but I know that Y is that axis 
so that I can revolve by selecting the axis Y. Not adding volume but cutting. Okay. You see, now we have a good uh, result. We mirror this result with two features because we used to create two features and with the mirror plane of uh, X Z yes okay now we can go inside to create the internal volume by using dimensions for this line this line 30 we have uh, 65 diameter 125 30 and radius 110 110 don't forget the cylindrical internal um, feature of diameter 185 we create uh, this uh, new sketch the same plane the third time F7 with an arc I create an arc with center point this is the center the radius is 110 I start from here to somewhere then I draw a line we go up we go left we can project now I project as a center line the axis X I, I don't need now to place this line on the center point. I disable the center line there, then I connect the end with this point, with this line. I go to the right and I go to down but this is not okay so that I constrain to be coincident this point with this line dimensions dimensions 110 185 30 65 this does 125 and fully constrained we have all we need finish sketch revolve with cut not join okay you see now how it looks very well now we take a look 
to this slot 42 36 radius 7 diameter 7 multiplied by 2 because you know a slot is with dimension and diameter let's create this the plane is xy F7 home slot center to center from here 36 and diameter 7 multiplied by 2 What is this? The radius is 7. My fault. I double click on this 14 and I write 7. I was very sure that it must be Uh, it must be double. I align these two points and I place the dimension from this arc to this face of 42. Finish sketch. I look inside for you to see better extrude the only close contour is the slot yes so that we apply cut symmetrical through okay also through is the hole of one inch and a quarter yes it goes through all the part let's create this hole hole face center and the dimension is 1.25 inches you can write here 1 inch and 1 divided by 4 inch but plus between them yes we don't use uh, to measure in inches so that you can uh, choose 1.25 inches or one inch plus a quarter of inch okay it is through and everything is okay now uh, we take a look of this two faces which are the same at uh, that dimensions and distances but not same on the internal hole we just use the drawing which is uh, 110 outside a dimension of 78 and uh, another dimension of 95 
so we have here 78.95 to here and again 78. The internal diameter is 105. 110, 110, 105 outside and inside so that uh, this is uh, conical yes from 105 to 110 let's create uh, this uh, contour to apply revolve the plane is x Z and F7 home project geometry axis Z apply center line and then we draw three lines one horizontal one sloped and another horizontal dimensions 78 uh, distance from the center is 95 divided by 2 And now diameters, 110 and 105. Good. Finish sketch. Revolve. You can use R, the key R. As you can see, revolve in parentheses is R. The same is E for extrude. I don't use this because I want you to see what I do here. You see, we already have the volume. There is another protrusion here, but the uh, hole uh, will uh, eliminate it okay mirror mirror about x y plane but once again mirror the feature is the last one and the plane is XY see okay good now I apply fillets and then the last thing will be the hole through the both uh, new volumes take a look 15 is the first next is 15 inside inside next is radius 8 here also radius 8 here and and here of course and radius 5 on this and radius 5 is also somewhere else here <laughs> you have to remember this yes be careful so Five. 
five is this one, five is this one, and also five is this and this. Plus this is the first you have to be careful with this with 15 then plus here 15 and also 15 plus 8 here and also 8 to both no 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 this line I, I keep shift pressed and I eliminate that one because I want to add with radius 8 this one and this one okay my friends now we have the right placement of this uh, fillets. Let's go now to the hole through these two uh, features. And uh, Timoteo's drawing we see this object which will be placed inside the uh, crank head. We have dimensions here, not here. So we see 85 at this end, 10 at the other end. This uh, 85 is outside of the uh, body because the inside is 84, my friends. 84. The other dimension is placed at a distance of 80 plus 98 plus 65, this dimension of 70, measured from the end of the part number four from here not from here and we'll have that dimension somewhere uh, here you see this is 70 take care with this uh, next uh, sketch we go to our part to a plane in the middle of the sphere that plane is uh, uh, this one but let me rotate the part and now I create a new sketch F7 and home. Here is 85 and here is 84 and the other dimension 70 is here. We project as a center line the axis Z again then we disable the center line and we draw three lines one two three we know that this last one is 85 
we create new lines one is here or here inside no problem what is this I don't need this circle there and I want this to be vertical vertical is Y why oh no <laughs> vertical is horizontal this must be horizontal and now it is horizontal another line is at the other end this one oh my god I don't control very well my hands my friend you know why this uh, point measured from the line and the center line is 84 trim because I see that this was exceeding the axis the other dimension is 70 70 this 84 is on this face so that I project that face and I align I make this both as construction lines and I align this two to be one you see the other dimension is the distance between these two ends in the drawing we have that dimension by accumulating adding that three dimensions in the Timoteus drawing 243 is the result dimension between these two 243 outside 2 4 3 okay now we have only one dimension uh, remaining uh, not placed which is that one this is the end I cannot place it inside I must put it outside where outside well I project this arc and I make coincident or tangent this last point with this new arc I'm sure that it the hole will be uh, through and the hole is created by applying revolve finish sketch revolve this is the closed contour the axis is known but the solution is cut okay you see oh what happens here <laughs> why this is not uh, as we expect to be let's see the sketch once again I was sure uh, that I 
Oh, I know what happened. F6, F7. This line must be a construction line. This is the problem. It was considered a uh, contour, close contour. Finish sketch, and now we see a hole here. Very interesting. The last uh, feature to be created is uh, this one, the keyway. Timoteo has uh, placed uh, that dimensions on the shaft, 20 and 46. We apply these dimensions respecting my drawing 20 and 46 but only on this uh, side not the other good 20 and 46 take a look here i select this face I make construction all this to circle then a rectangle rectangle with dimensions 20 to 46 I only need to place this midpoint over this center line. Finish sketch, extrude to this face, and now I have the keyway. Very good and very rapidly. We apply material which is uh, steel cast we apply red as the as the aspect and we select some faces to be machined I keep pressed the shift key to select that uh, faces as you can see the other face shift pressed internal and the other end with one, two, three. I suppose I didn't forget anything. This must be steel polished. Steel polished. And we have the part as we wanted. Let's see what is the volume. I properties physical update. You see, 38 kilograms is this uh, iron part and I select the value of volume and I go to the drawing double click here enter and we see a small difference no not small 
a very large difference. But why? Let me see what happens here. Well, I know what happened. This radius 15 is not 15. It's 8 by my fault. You see, this fillet is uh, not the, the one we want to be. And that one is this one. Double click and you see it is 8 millimeters. I eliminate because it uh, it is together with other 8 millimeters. I I double click this and I deselect this two. One I keep shift pressed. Yes this two okay this is eight millimeter here here and here okay and now another fillet for that two inside at 15 15 yes bigger than the other one and this one is also 15 okay and now the properties physical update 38 kilograms 39 about and let me see what is the new volume close double click now this I extend only this double click on the text home and now I suppose the difference is too small to be considered. Yes? Let me apply this dimension. So I delete this and I keep the new value as uh, the result for our model that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye